happening. Family and friends will remember the life of Detroit police officer Fadi Shakur. Shakur died of injuries he suffered during a hit and run while on duty. And 7 Action News reporter Nia Harden is live in Utica for us this morning where the funeral will be held. Nia. That's right, Alicia. Well, they will be celebrating Officer Shakur's life right here behind me at the St. George Chaldean Catholic Church here on uh, DeQuinder near M59. You can see this beautiful church behind me here. Uh, you know, earlier this month is when he lost his life. He was actually working. 30-year-old Fadi Shakur was breaking up a crowd at the intersection of West McNichols and Stallion. Police say while walking back to his patrol car, he was hit by a 19-year-old Jonathan Cole who didn't stop. Officer Shakur was taken to the hospital where he later died. Cole later turned himself in. He's been charged with second degree murder. This year alone, though, three Detroit police officers have died while in the line of duty. Before becoming a police officer, Shakur served in the Navy for six years. The governor has ordered the flags to be flown at half staff. Chief James Craig says Shakur had a great personality. Fadi will always be remembered for this magnetic smile. He would light a room up. Certainly in his short time, he made a difference. He served his entire time from graduation uh, from the police academy at the 8th precinct. So again, Officer Shakur leaves behind his wife, who he just married about a month ago. And if you can't pay your respects this morning at 10 o'clock here at the church, we'll be streaming this live on WXYZ.com. Nia Harden, 7 Action News.